Uh, today we're in Shimizu in Japan. Uh, it's a beautiful, very, very hot, sunny day. Uh, this is the port. This is what it looks like when you come out. You go through customs. They check your bags. Make sure to bring ID out with you. They will check it straight away. And then we've got a beautiful little market as soon as you get up here. So when you come out from the ship right over here, all you do is walk straight out. And that brings you straight away to the small harbor of the town. And this is where all the main things are. There are shuttle buses that leave every 20 minutes that take you to the two main train stations, which are great if you're going further afield from the town. But if you just want to walk around town, you can just walk straight there, just follow the path around, and there's lots to see. Something to watch out for when you're going around Japan are these. These are called 100 yen stores. It's like a dollar store, a pound store. Uh, they have all sorts of stuff, useful, useless, things you didn't even know you needed. Uh, they're really handy for getting little bits and pieces. And then from the 100 yen store, we're going to cross the Minato Bridge. You get a lovely view up towards the mountains and down towards the water and head to the temples. And this is Miyokeji Temple. There's a um, local graveyard right next to it as well. And our family shrines. So the temple as it is now is 150 years old. It was 500 years ago it was first built, um, but it suffered various calamities including fires and earthquakes. Um, so the, the, the temple is beautiful inside and right outside next door we have the graveyard with all the family tombs. So we're in Jirocho's house now. Jirocho was a Shimizu resident who was a very famous gambler. He was the biggest gambler in all of Japan and he was a bit of a character, a bit of a, a shady dude. Um, but at age 48 he decided to change his ways. He became a social worker and he really contributed to uh, the um, economy, the people, community of Shimizu. This is the house he lived in. It's t um, 200 years ago. Uh, it's still going. They keep it uh, nice and renovated. You can walk around and see artifacts of his, uh, learn about his life and also which is amazing as you walk around there are pictures of lots of cats Nichols, and they tell you a little bit more about him next up we're visiting a Shinto shrine this is the Minowa Inari shrine there is here <laughs> nice. don't drink <laughs> they're finally cleaned And this is where you can leave prayers, uh, which is for health and happiness for your family on the wall. And as you walk around the shrine, you'll see there's a lot of kitsune, which are foxes. Um, they're everywhere, and these are the main gods to protect the temples here, because uh, they are known to eat small animals like mice that would eat the crops and eat the, the rice. And so they protect the shrine and protect the people from their food being eaten by little critters. Our next place we're stopping is here, Jirocho of Shimizu. There's Iriopiri Traveler dress here. And this is um, Shimizu Jiroko's Sailor Lodge. It's a small museum, uh, it's free to enter, and this is um, where you can try and some clothes too. <laughs> I make sure you go so upstairs to see Jirocho's English school. And student, student, mm -hmm. four person. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Hello, welcome to Shimizu. We are the Shimizu volunteer guide. And uh, we are very glad to, uh, to, the, to the ship guest come to the Shimizu and they enjoy Shimizu's atmosphere. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Now from the main shopping part in the main part of the city, we have got the Espel's Dream Plaza Mall. Uh, you can cross the motorway from the older part of town to see it. Uh, this is the place to shop. It's got loads of restaurants as well. You want to try some uh, local food too. Now, as you walk around the shopping center, make sure to go on the ground floor and look for this Ebisu sample. This is a, a Mount Fuji replica made out of sushi. How cool is that? <laughs> and it's right next to the bottom floor here, next to the escalators. 
There's so many lovely food shops to go to here, little food stalls, places to get gifts. Um, Japan is very big on little gifts for all occasions. This is a fantastic place to buy some of them and also souvenirs. And also if you want to go for lunch, uh, there's a restaurant right next door. This is where we had lunch last time. They had excellent sushi and sashimi bowls. Lots of very tasty fishes.